Today, we're going to add UV distortion to our bricks to make them feel more organic. Let's go. All right, so for the past couple of weeks, we've been working on this procedural brick shader. Uh, last week, we added normals to the bricks. And the week before that, we added color. And then before that, uh, we also defined the base bit brick pattern. But there's a little bit of a problem with the bricks, and that is they're looking really, they're looking really perfect and symmetrical. And so today what we're going to do is add a little bit of noise to their shape to make them feel more natural and organic and not quite so exactly perfect in uh, perfect rows and columns. So we'll start out in Unity today. And then in a few minutes, we'll switch over and I'll show you how to do the same thing in Unreal Engine as well. Okay, so up until now, we've been using this uh, procedurally generated brick pattern here. And everything else that we've done builds on top of this pattern. So we, we grab this pattern and then we generate the color from that. And we use this pattern as well and we generate the normals from that. So... What this means is that if we alter the pattern, the base pattern, that the normals and the color that we generate will kind of automatically go along with the changes that we make to the base pattern. And so what we need to do is come in here where we're generating the pattern and add a little bit of subtle offset to our original UV coordinates so that they're not uh, straight and exactly perfect. And the way that we're going to do that is with a node in a shader graph called gradient noise. So I'm just going to add the gradient noise node. And here it is. And what you can see is this is a node that procedurally generates this kind of organic looking pattern. This is called gradient noise or Perlin noise. And in this case, we're only using one octave of the noise to generate this pattern. That means the underlying algorithm that we're running is only running one time. We're not running it multiple times and combining all the layers together. We're just running it once. So what we can do is take our original UV coordinates here that we're using to generate the bricks and pass these in as the UVs uh, for the noise. And you can see when we do that, our noise gets really small. So that means we need to adjust our scale value here. So I'm going to set this to something more like three. And now what we can do is add this pattern to our original UVs. Before I do that, though, I want to adjust this noise a little bit because right now it's in a range of zero to one. And what I want to end up doing is adding this noise to our UV coordinates right here. So Let's actually just move this over a little bit so there's room for an add node over here. We'll put in an add. So we're going to add these values over here to our UV coordinates. However, if we just add things, it's going to shift them all in one direction. And we actually want to push things in both directions. And so instead of having... Um, uh, our noise values here in the range of 0 to 1, we're going to put them in the range of negative 1 to 1. And so just like I do in just about every video, we're going to expand our range here by multiplying by 2 and subtracting 1. Times 2, minus 1. And now our noise values here are in a range of negative 1 to 1, uh, which is a little bit easier to work with because we can just add them to the UV coordinates and they'll offset in both directions. Well, let's see what happens if we just go ahead and add this as it is. So I'm going to kind of scoot things over here. And we'll plug these new UV coordinates here into our fraction and up here into our floor that we're going to use for the color. Okay, so now you can see I've got some pretty gnarly looking bricks. Um, what happened is um, we went ahead and added this noise to our UV coordinates at full strength. 
And so there's just a ton of offset going on here. And you can barely recognize these. Well, you can't really recognize this as a brick pattern anymore. And so what we need to do before we add our noise is just add a multiply and multiply these values by some small number. So in my case, I'm going to multiply this by 0.015. And this will reduce our noise down a lot so that once it gets added to the UVs, it just offsets it just a little bit. All right, so now if we zoom in here, you can see that these offsets are really subtle. It's barely offsetting it at all. Um, but if we come over here to our preview and we look at it, you can see that we're getting some really interesting shapes. We no longer have perfectly straight lines everywhere. Our, our bricks are kind of wobbly looking and a little bit more organic. So there are two controls here that we can use to control this effect. We can control the scale of the noise and we can also control the strength of the noise. So if we want the noise to be a little bit stronger, we can multiply this by a larger number and we'll get more, uh, more distortion over here. So if I go 0 0.05, now you can see I'm introducing a lot of wobble into my brick shapes. Um, but if I go back to 0 0.015, just a little bit less. Okay, and if I wanted to introduce some uh, some larger shapes in here, I could maybe give this a scale value of, of 1. And now you can see that my bricks are... Um, the effect is a little bit more subtle. So maybe I should turn up the strength just a little bit. We'll turn this up to 0 0.03, 0 0.05. Now you can see I'm getting kind of more of a Dr. Seuss type pattern where I'm getting really broad offset shapes. And so there are a lot of different things you can do with this depending on the scale. And I can even go larger and maybe stronger. So you can see I'm getting these really interesting kind of wobbly patterns. Um, but this is something that you can tune to taste. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 0.015 and maybe my noise scale at something like three, because this gives really interesting details to each individual brick, uh, instead of kind of creating these big sweeping lines uh, of multiple bricks. All right, so that's how you add UV distortion to your procedurally generated bricks and how you can add a little bit more personality to the effect uh, so the bricks aren't all in perfectly straight lines and and exactly square. Uh, so like I said, going back to uh, the beginning here, the core of this effect is this gradient noise node that generates this kind of organic looking pattern, which we can then use to offset our UV coordinates. All right, so that's what we're gonna show in Unity today. Let's switch over to Unreal and I'll show you how to get the same effect in the procedural brick pattern there. All right, here we are in Unreal, and we've got our full shader that we've created up until this point. Uh, in our first uh, brick procedural brick tutorial, uh, we talked about generating this base pattern here. And so here's our base pattern. We've got a UV coordinate layout that is in the shape of our bricks. And then in the next tutorial, we talked about generating our color. So this is the color that we generated and we're using this hash 23 node that we talked about uh, to generate a different hue, saturation, and value for each individual brick, and no two bricks are exactly the same. That's pretty cool. And then we also generated these normals over here using the prepare perturb normal HQ and perturb normal HQ uh, to generate some really nice normals for our procedural bricks. And so today we're going to talk about uh, making our bricks a little bit more organic looking, a little bit less perfect and exactly uh, square. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to alter the base pattern over here using some procedurally generated noise. So we have our UV coordinates and right now uh, the pattern that we're creating with the UVs is perfectly straight uh, up and down, side to side, uh, exactly square. 
And so what we want to do is we want to take our UV coordinates here and add a little bit of noise to them so that they're offset. And in Unreal, we can just right click here and type noise. And we get this really nice uh, procedural noise node. And what we want to use is a type of noise called gradient noise. So I'm going to grab this and drop down. And you can see we've got a couple of different kinds of gradient noise. Um, I'm going to use the fastest one for now. It's called Fast Gradient 3D Texture. Um, so this is the cheapest uh, noise that we're going to be able to use here. And so I'll just pick this. Okay, so our noise node here is looking for position as an input. And position is a vector 3 or float 3 value. And we want to put our texture coordinates in, which is not a vector 3 value. And so uh, we need to convert this to a vector 3 value. And so I'm going to grab our texture coordinates here and we're going to add an append node. Just add an append vector here. And I'm just going to add another value of 0. So we'll have our u and v coordinates in the first two components and then just 0 in the last component there. And we're going to pass this in here to our noise node. And let's go ahead and take a look at what our noise looks like here. Okay, what you can see here is that we've got some really interesting noise patterns going on. And this is a little bit too expensive and a little bit too complex for what we're looking for for our bricks. Can you see how much detail there is in here? Yeah, we don't really need all of that. And what's creating all of this detail is this thing called levels. Uh, another term for this is octaves. So basically we're, we're doing this, uh, this algorithm that generates the noise, but we're repeating it six times and adding all six of those together. And we don't need that at all. So we're going to turn that off and we're just going to make levels one. And now what we're going to get is the most basic pattern here. Just so that we can see it a little bit better, I'm going to set our output min to zero and our output max to one. And now you can see the base pattern that we're dealing with. And one thing that I'm noticing now that we can see our base pattern here is that this is not quite the pattern that we're looking for. We've got this crazy looking lines in it. And I think that's being caused by this turbulence here. So I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah, okay, so what we're getting now is um, just kind of some some misty, foggy looking shapes. And that is what we're looking for. Now we can change the size of these shapes if we set this scale value here. Now we've got a little bit smaller. And what this is gonna do for us is um, we'll be able to kind of distort and wobble up individual bricks. Instead of making really big changes to whole rows of bricks, we're just gonna be adding this, this these offset values uh, to individual bricks. Okay, let's go ahead and take this noise that we have here and see what happens when we add it in. Uh, in Unity, we had to add the uh, multiply by two and subtract one here to get it into the negative one to one range, and then add another multiplier node uh, to shrink that range down. But in the noise node in Unreal, I have these values built right in here. so. I can do, I can change my range uh, right in the node itself. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.02 in the negative and 0 0.02 in the positive. And now we can take these noise values and add them to our original UV coordinates to offset them. So we'll just add our noise value right in there and then wire these offset UV coordinates into the rest of our shader. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what results we're getting from this. Okay, now you can see that we're offsetting our UVs, and so we're getting just a little bit of nice wobbly organic look into our bricks, so they're no longer perfectly square. And this is exactly the effect that we're looking for. So you can see that we've got our noise here, we had to append uh, just a, a dummy value here because our noise needs a vector 3 instead of a vector 2. Uh, but once that was done, 
Now all we need to do is just tune our noise a little bit to get the effect that we want. So we can make our noise bigger. Uh, you know, we can make our noise uh, smaller like this with a scale of 10, or we can make it bigger. And then we can make it um, influence the bricks more by increasing these minimum and maximum output values. Like if I were to out output negative, one, negative 0.1 to positive 0.1, now you can see that's uh, that's a little bit heavy, so we probably don't want to go quite that high. Maybe uh, negative 0 0.3 and negative or positive 0 0.3, and then maybe a scale value of five. So we can tune these values here, uh, the scale and the min and max output, uh, to get just the amount of distortion that we're looking for so that our bricks have that uh, nice organic look. All right, cool. So now we have a pretty decent procedurally generated brick shader. We've generated our base pattern here. We've generated our color here. We've created normals for our bricks here. And then we've added some distortion to make the bricks feel more organic here. Let me know down in the comments if there are some additional things that you'd like to see us add to our procedural brick pattern. Keep in mind, the more features that we add to this, the more expensive it becomes to generate these bricks. So we don't wanna to go too crazy uh, or else our brick pattern uh, will be too expensive to render in real time. But within the limits, there are some additional things we could do. So let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. All right, well, that wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned some things about generating bricks procedurally. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you next time.